Hi, this is John Beatty, and uh, we're back to the Doctor Strange commission piece that I started some time ago. And I'm going to try something different uh, working on this piece, and that's to go straight from my small thumbnail uh, to printing this out on a piece of 11 by 17 Bristol board and finishing up the commission uh, that way. Um, I am going to do one tracing uh, small uh, this size on tracing paper before I scan it again and print it out in blue line. So I just wanted to kind of run you through the process that I'm attempting to do and we'll see if it's going to work together. Um, basically what I need to do with this piece right now, uh, let's just take a look at the image size. I'll show you the size of it. It's, uh, it's a little under five and a quarter inches wide by a little over seven and a half inches high with a 300 resolution. Um, so you can see it's not a very big drawing. It's going to print out on an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper fine. What I want to do is clean up some of these uh, sketch Lucy lines that uh, I put down when I was just getting the gesture of the drawing. And the way I'm going to do that is to uh, first of all go up to image adjustments and I'm going to desaturate the uh, the drawing. And it, basically what that does, it gets rid of the blue, kind of turns it into a grayscale. Okay, so now that we've got this grayscale, uh, uh, basically I, I don't want to trace over black because I'm not going to see where my pencil line's going. So first of all, I'm going to clean up some of the uh, sketch lines that aren't necessary. And I like to use curves. So the control, uh, control M is the keyboard sh uh, shortcut for that on a PC and I'm just basically going to bring my white point up until I start seeing all those gray lines uh, getting you know disappearing and what that does though is it also makes my black a little less dense no big deal but if you want you can go ahead and bring your black point down uh, basically we're making a uh, an S-curve and let's go ahead and hit OK on that and uh, fit the screen, blow up on a little bit, and as you can see now, we've got a, a pretty clean, uh, still got a little bit of gray, but not not enough to really worry about. Uh, pretty clean drawing um, to work from, but as I said, the actual uh, problem is I can't see uh, what I'm tracing when I'm working on black. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. And I've already got a preset for blue that I'm going to load. We're going to load that and it changes everything to blue. If you're a member of the uh, Inkers uh, group on Yahoo, uh, you can download this uh, little application, this little uh, 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 blue line. If not, you can create your own. There is a um, a save mode so that when you get the settings here you'll be able to save it. The hue is set at 180, the saturation is set at 100, and the lightness is set at plus 80. Colorize and of course preview is checked so that you can see what your your work is going to look like before you output it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I've already got one made that I've um, printed out and traced over. Uh, let me go ahead and open that up and give you a look at it. Okay, this is it, and uh, it's blurry looking because it's actually at 72 DPI. I didn't need anything high res right now. Uh, this is just to print out on uh, just some regular uh, printing paper, 8.5 by 11, and to trace over. So, you know, no reason to to give it a really high DPI and, and uh, you know, have your ink spraying out a lot of ink that you don't need and uh, uh, just you know taking longer to print so basically that's uh, that was my next step was to get to this point okay so let's go ahead and close this file out and uh, let's open the one that I traced okay this is my tracing of the blue line um, let me zoom in on his face here for you 
And as you can see, I wasn't happy with what I uh, did in the eyes. I was working very small, so it was very tough. And uh, I didn't like it. So all I did was come over here, grab my pencil tool, switch the foreground color to white, and just scrubbed out what I had there. And it doesn't matter because I'm going to print this out uh, on a piece of Bristol board and rework it a bit. It's going to be printed uh, in that same uh, blue preset, uh, very light, just enough so that I can see what's going on while I'm inking. And that's where I'm going to do most of the work is in the ink stage. Uh, as you can see, hopefully on your monitor, is a very light file. And, uh, you know, I even went in here and erased out some of the lines that I don't want to print. Uh, these curvy crackle things are going to be black. It's okay if, if lines cross over there. Uh, so you kind of got to, you know, I'm kind of mapping out what I'm going to do uh, a, a little bit ahead. But I'm also leaving um, certain aspects of this uh, up to the actual ink stage. So... This is a background layer, and I've actually already sized this one to 10 by 15 with a 300 resolution. So 10 by 15 on 11 by 17 board is fairly standard uh, bordering. Um, so let's just okay that. Uh, I'm working on two monitors, so I'm going to go over to my uh, layers monitor. Right now, this pencil is a background. I'm going to change it to layer 0. And I'm going to make a layer one, uh, which you can't see, but you know if you're familiar with Photoshop at all, um, it's there. And really, the reason I need to do that is so that I can uh, put a black border around the um, drawing, so that when I print it out, I have a blue drawing of Doctor Strange, a very light blue drawing, which I can work on, but I have my black border. So right now, I'm going to take layer 0, which is our pencil layer, and I'm going to actually use the blue preset that we just used uh, for the first tracing. I'm going to load it. Okay. And as you can see, or maybe you can't see, I don't know, it's hard for me to see right now. It's very light. Uh, let's blow up on this very light. When this prints out on my Bristol board, it'll be visible to me, but uh, not by much, but just enough just enough for me to, to ink from. You know, I'll be able to work from it, so uh, that's, that's really what 